Since the release of Blender 2.63, we have a very excellent knife tool included in Blender that gives us really good versatility when cutting in new topology. You can find the knife tool from the toolbar on the left side via knife and select. And the difference between these two is knife, which is brought up with K, will work on all topology, regardless of your selection. And the select knife tool will only work on your selected object or selected mesh. And it's brought up with shift K. So if we just zoom in here and hit K, you can see where our cursor have changed to a knife tool and we have a little highlight point to indicate where we're cutting. And unlike most tools in Blender with this regard, we still have full navigation controls within the knife tool, which is handy. And if we just go ahead and just add in some cuts, we can just left click, left click, left click. When we're ready to confirm the cut, we can just hit enter and that will immediately place the cut. You'll notice that it will not triangulate anything. It just leaves the end gongs, which can be handy. With the knife tool, you'll also find that there are a series of options down along the bottom side. So you can see some instructions, left mouse button defines the cut, return or spacebar confirms, escape or right mouse button cancels, E will start a new cut, control will add midpoint snapping, shift will ignore snapping, C starts an angle constraint, and Z allows you to cut through all geometry rather than only the ones on the surface. So, for example, if I wanted to cut in a triangle around each one of these points to then allow me to connect quads from each direction, I could simply left click here, left click here, left click here, and then left click back on my original point that I added, and then hit enter, and I'll immediately cut those in. I could then go through and maybe cut in here and cut here. And then I just reactivated the knife tool by pressing K again and hit enter and it gives me a nice new cut. But maybe I don't want to do all that by, you know, bringing up the knife tool multiple times. Maybe I'd like to do that all in one step. Well, I could do that by just uh, cutting in. So start activating the knife tool, cut, 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 and cut. And now rather than hitting return and confirming the cut, I'll simply hit E, which will start a new cut and allow me to then start at a new position and even cut in on my previous cut. And then I can do that again, cut here, cut here. And then let's say maybe, you know, we want these cuts to actually be snapped to the midpoints. Well, if I wanted these to be snapped, I need to restart those. But to demo it here, I can start by snapping to this vertex. Then if I hold down control, it will snap to the middle of this edge or any vertex that I choose. So if I just hold down control, snap there, and now hit enter, then I have a perfect series of cuts. A few other things. You uh, do note that you can disable snapping by holding down shift. You can see it will no longer snap to any of my edges and allows me just to get a nice smooth cut as close to any other vertex that I wish. If you press C, it will start an angle constraint, but do be aware that the angle constraint does not work on local or global axes. Instead, it's based on a view axis. So you can see that I have basically a 90 degree uh, horizontal or vertical and then 45 degrees in either direction. So if you wish to use the angle constraints and are trying to get vertical, horizontal or perfect 45 degree cuts, then it will be necessary to go into a direct front or side view preferably in orthographic mode, in order to get those exact cuts, such as like this. Now, if you want to, say, cut through this entire line right here, this is best done in wireframe mode, so pressing Z, you can start a new cut, and then rather than cutting from one edge to the other, and then confirming the cut, which by default will not cut through, but you could cut through, uh, if you cut and cut, and then enable Z down here. So you can see now my cut through is on and now hit enter. You'll see it's not cut through either. And the reason for this is we're still snapping to the edges. So if we want it to cut through, instead you can just start your cut somewhere out here in space, cut through, you can still hold down control and it will cut through the midpoints and then left click again, hit enter. And oops, I forgot to enable the cut through. So you can see that these options do not remain saved each time. So each time you start a new cut, you need to adjust these as you wish. So I'll press Z to start my cut, left click up in space, left click, hold down control, left click again, and then hit enter. And you can see it's cut all the way through. So handy if you want it. Uh, the other thing to remember is that if you want to work only on your active selection, you can say select all this, and maybe we'll select this one as well. 
then choose Shift K or Knife Select. And even if we, if we draw out here, you'll notice it doesn't cut through anything. Even if I draw through like this, it won't cut across anything that is unselected. So it just gives you a bit more precision there. So this is the knife tool. It works quite well for cutting in new geometry. It even works for doing complex interior connections, such as if I wanted to do something like this, and then maybe cut that, it still works just fine. I now have a new end on here, which I could then extrude in, or I could go through, bring up my knife tool, connect these, and it gives you very good versatility for cutting in your new topology.